Hi, it's Bex here from Channel Bex Bug Out Survivor, and today we've got a quick make. And between you and me, I've got a feeling this is going to be one of my favourites. All you really need for this is the British Army Gore Tex Bivy. You can put the British Army Bivy in a different kind of arrangement to make a hammock microclimate and it is fantastic it's low profile doesn't require a tarp or basher to stay uh, windproof and waterproof it's just a case of uh, a bit of gaffer tape some string and that's about it now I'm using a tape called a t-rex tape and it's one of the strongest on the market and it's a good all-rounder to fix uh, your kit with so British Army bivvy I got this for about two quid on the car boot look out for them it doesn't need to be in great condition so this is the foot end of my bivvy bag again British Army in the centre of it, I've placed some of that T-Rex tape about finger to palm in length, like that. And what I've done is identical on the inside, so I've sandwiched two pieces of tape between the bivvy, and that will uh, stop any excessive rips or tears now on the head end at the top of the hood which would be here on your hood I've done the same I sandwiched two pieces of tape you'll see it better here outside inside then I get my craft knife or scissors and put the slit in only after I've taped it now the one on the head end doesn't need to be this size it only needs to be a hole big enough to put some shock cord through and I'm using a little snap gate beaner inside that it's the hammock itself so I've threaded it through so it becomes um, a kind of cocoon system so using the foot end I'm going to throw it up to the tree here and the head end here and we'll take it from there so tied off to the trees the hammock is thrown up now I'm going to put in the internal insulation which for me is a roll pad and my 58 pat bag Next, all I do is pull this bivvy over the whole lot. So this is the hood section with another slit. Remember, it only needs to be a hole. It doesn't need to be that big. But I've just tied in a bungee on a beaner. And that fastens directly onto your suspension. just like that so here's the drawstrings of the bivvy and I've put one of these cinch toddles on like that at the foot end I've tied some paracord which runs the length of the body of the hammock coming to the head end now this will become a ridge line and I've tied out to one of the suspensions with an adjustable knot so foot end paracord is tied to the actual beaner but this section is tied higher up so now when I pull the Gore-Tex bivvy over it will create a kind of a roof not only will that uh, act as a windbreak it's gonna create a microclimate um, from your body heat So here it is with the ridge line up. 
We'll just take it back a bit so we can see it from a distance. It does make all the difference not having such a high um, top or basher above your head. It's a lot more stealthy. Now with a camo net over that, you're laughing. To access this, I unclip it from the suspension and I pull it back. I get in the hammock in the normal way and I pull it back over myself, over that ridge line. I reach outside and just clip um, the beaner back onto the suspension. But this now, I'm hoping is going to be uh, waterproof. And I know what you're thinking, what about the gap at the top by your head? I haven't seen a bivvy in quite this OD colour for a long time. They're usually a bit darker than that, lovely colour. Um, where am I? Yeah, this head section here, the section between the webbing and the start of the hood is the only exposed bit. So what I've done in the trials is to take off a waterproof jacket. This isn't it, by the way. This is just what I've got for today. Now I drape this over the ridge line, like that. And then I'd zip up the section here, like that. Now I have tried this on an under blanket setup. It will go around an under blanket. The hammock cocoon that I have from Snug Pack, that's just too long. That is coming in at more than nine foot, I think. And obviously the British Army Gore-Tex Bivvy. We're looking at around seven foot, I believe, for this. But you can see how the water is gonna bead off the ridge line down here and drip off and hopefully it shouldn't pool too much here there will be pooling i should imagine but it's it's not the end of the world the actual system itself is incredibly quick to deploy as well i keep the gore-tex bivy and the hammock uh, intact as one unit and i roll them together and put them into my bag. Alongside that I have my roll mats, I have my pattern 58 and it all travels really nicely inside my 110 litre deployment bag. I think out of all my makes so far this has to be right up there. I will be taking this out uh, hopefully this weekend next weekend and then further down the line you'll see that overnight in action just as you've seen it the only extras I'm going to put in are the stove and pan set and some water okay I'm going over to site location to to set up just so I can have a little sit down really but um, I will show you how I use my suspension with twin tabs um, all the adjustments are done from the end of the hammock and not at the tree that might not be important to you you might be interested in doing something similar yourself so that's the next bit we're going to have a look at is the um, hammock end suspension so what happened last time i was out i didn't have enough span of tree and i have this dual webbing it comes from the foot end like that both sides this bit around the tree this bit to your hammock so i thought really do you need the two lengths so i put a beaner around the foot end in the hem 
and just used a single span and it doubled the length of the webbing. It also uh, decreased its load bearing by 50% so it sagged but I accidentally found out another way of hanging dual webbing. Now I've just put a beaner in mine for now. Uh, this will come out. This was just a temporary measure because I was on the fly. This goes around the tree and back to the beaner. So off the tree to the beaner. This is a bit that's just gone around the tree. I'm going to come back in through that beaner and it's locked off into place with just a simple knot, a quick release knot. So this is me at the head end without the coat over this ridge line and boy it is cosy and I haven't got the sleep pad underneath me either I would for the evening but this is fantastic So feet ease towards the bottom Now when I have my pad in here it wraps up around the side of my feet and keep them lovely and warm and my head in the middle. Wow, this is ridiculously warm. <laughs> or sleep like this at the head end. Now I'm quite lucky. I I don't get a lot of shoulder pinch with this hammock because it is eight foot by four foot. Now for me, that is an ideal size. Somebody was asking me how to size a hammock. Uh, I think. You either get lucky with them or, or you don't but i i've got three or four hammocks i know the sizes that are right for me i'm five foot eight that's 173 centimeters and my hammock is eight foot long by four foot wide so it makes a perfect rectangle now that size is just right for this bivy system so between the bivy and the hammock there is a gap, an air gap. So this, I think, will adapt really nicely for the winter just by adding either another pad or a thicker under blanket. And don't forget, this is a fully transversible kit. It will adapt to the ground also. So I can throw it on the ground Put the sleeping bag the sleeping pad in so i've got a ratting system for the ground and a squirreling system like this for the trees and the idea came really from that blue moon camp out where i was being battered by the cold wind and the wind was stealing all the heat from the um snug pack cocoon i had over it it was just bellowing away all that heat so that is definitely been one of my favorite makes and a very successful make as well i hope if you're watching this and you've got a spare bivy or you can find a cheap bivy that you give this a go it it's life-changing to hammock campers um i really urge you to do it it's certainly one of my favorites i don't know what it's going to be like in a heavy downpour i'm going to reseam this section here with uh, strong gaffer tape so it'll make it even more windproof waterproof don't forget you're going to need your drip lines play about with it let me know how it went for you until next time take care of yourself and this has been 
the Gore-Tex Hammock Micro Climate System. Until next time, take care of yourself, and I'll see you out there.